Are you serious? Are you serious? Okay, guys, I know that that shooting in Arkansas was horrific. 25 people were wounded. Good news is nobody died. And gang violence is something we just, it's, a, it's an issue in this country that is just not being addressed completely. But we do have something we can address here, and that is this, there's been a solar flare, an explosion on the sun. Now, it was, I've seen bigger ones, and BP Earthwatch has done a good job covering it. He has a great video out on it. His concern is the fact that it's earth-facing and the earth is going to be, we're going to take a hit from the corona mass ejection. There's no question. CMEs are going to hit us. The, he's projecting that we should start feeling this thing, uh, the wave from the sun. It should hit us about 12 noon Eastern. And so uh, we're putting out, he's putting out an earthquake watch for today, Sunday, July the 2nd. And, uh, and so we're going to keep an eye on it in the next 24 hours, starting at noon Eastern until noon Monday the 3rd or so, I think would be the high peak hours that some, if there's going to be a significant earthquake, and I mean, that's anything over six. If, the, if, if we're going to have one of those, I would say it would happen in the next 24 hours. So keep a close eye on it. Uh, look, it's, this is, there's no question that uh, you can link corona mass ejections, especially from solar flares uh, or solar wind speeds if there's a hole in the atmosphere of the sun. Well, the solar winds right now in the sun are clocking at this moment 530 kilometers per second. That's extremely powerful when average is 320. So there's not quite, not quite double, but certainly a 75% increase here of the, of the solar winds on the sun and an explosion of a CME, earth-facing, headed this direction at any time now. So if there's some weak points, it depends where that CME burst hits on the earth. If it hits in the ring of fire, or if it hits uh, you know, somewhere like in Chile or, or somewhere like uh, the uh, Fiji Islands or maybe up in the Cascadia up there uh, you know, in Washington State or Canada or maybe up there in uh, Alaska, or Japan, I mean, the ring of fire certainly is concern. You even got to watch down under in New Zealand and, and what have you, because there could be an area where a quake could really do some damage. I always keep a close eye as well on Southern California, uh, but you got to watch Indonesia, those areas. So it just depends where it hits. And if it hits, and if any of those tectonic plates are very weak and are ready to go, this could be enough to push them over the edge. So let's just keep a close eye, heads up, as he would say, BP Earthwatch. I'll put the link below. I can tell you right now, in the last, since the solar flare exploded, here's what has happened. Uh, the big quakes that we've had, over four, let's go with, 4.6 in Peru, 4.6 in Indonesia, and 4.6 in China. There's also a 4.3 in Argentina, a 4.3 in Japan, a 4.1 in Italy. There was a 4.0 in New Zealand, 4.9 in Nepal, up there in the Himalayas, a 4.3 in Russia, a 4.0 in Chile, a 4.2 in Mexico, a 4.7 in the Central Atlantic, Mid-Atlantic Ridge, a 4.7 in India, a 4.7 in Japan, 4.4 in... I believe that's Turkey, but I want to double check that. Is it? No, in Turkmenistan, Turkmenistan, also 4.3 in Iceland, and a uh, 4.2, very shallow quake in Macedonia, and a 5.4 down under in New Zealand. That was strong. 5.5 uh, in New Zealand just a few minutes ago. 4.5 uh, earthquake.